So ways that you can try to um, protect yourself from being infected are regularly washing your hands, preferably with soap and water, but also hand sanitizers work. And think about um, uh, scrubbing your hands for at least 20 seconds. Um, also coughing into um, your elbow um, rather than um, just out. That'll help prevent the virus from, from spreading to other people. Um, if you think that you might have been exposed to the virus, then staying at home and seeking advice from your GP um, is the, the first course of action. One of the ways that we get infected with this virus is we get it on our fingers and we touch our eyes, we touch our mouths, and we touch our noses. So if we can reduce the amount of time, the number of times we touch our face, that's great. And also if we increase the amount of times we wash our hands, that'll also reduce that spread of virus by that route. So a pandemic simply means that there are cases of the virus in many different countries over lots of different parts of the world. So we're beginning to see that situation arising, but as yet the WHO hasn't declared this situation a pandemic. It's worth bearing in mind that a pandemic doesn't, the word pandemic doesn't give you any information about the severity of the illness, the number of people who might be infected. It just means that we have transmission of the virus across many different countries. One of the things that's actually really helpful is slowing down transmission. If we slow down transmission, then we're less likely to see big peaks of cases which may um, overwhelm health services. For this virus, it's thought that an the average infected individual will spread the virus to three, up to three other people. If we can, um, if people self-isolate and take themselves out of um, walking around the community, they can reduce the number of people that they spread the virus to. However, if somebody um, who doesn't quite realise that they're ill yet goes to a big mass gathering, like the rugby match, they could then, instead of spread the virus to three people, they could spread that virus to many, many more people. Each of those people then go back to their communities and you can see how the number of cases could spread very, very rapidly. And slowing down the transmission um, is one of the best things that we can do. So self-isolation means staying at home and limiting the number of people that you have contact with. So if you have returned from an area where there's been lots of cases, um, you may be asked to, um, to stay at home for up to two weeks to see if symptoms develop. Um, also, if you have close contact with somebody who may have been exposed to that virus, again, contact your GP, get advice, and they may ask you to stay at home until you can be tested. What's been shown to be really beneficial within China is by getting lots of people to self-isolate themselves, they were able to slow down the transmission and reduce the high numbers of, of new cases going into hospitals at any one time. This then maximizes the uh, medical facilities. What we don't want is lots of transmission occurring, which then would um, put too much strain on our health services. So it's all the things that we can do as individuals to protect ourselves and to protect each other. So it's about washing our hands regularly. It's about coughing into our elbow. It's about staying at home if you, if you feel sick or staying at home if you think you've been exposed to the virus and seeking help. You may be young, fit and healthy and this virus may just um, occur for you as a flu-like illness but somebody who has heart disease, diabetes, somebody in their 60s or 70s may be at risk of much more severe disease, so you want to do what you can do to protect them as well. Okay, so when we talk about washing our hands thoroughly, we mean scrubbing every finger and the whole process should take at least 20 seconds. So you want to rub the backs of your hands and your wrists and focus on scrubbing every finger, particularly the tips of the fingers. 
when you're wanting to try and gauge what 20 seconds is like, a good way of thinking about it is singing the happy birthday song in your head twice. <laughs> 